Hey everyone, Sarah Hale Khan here, where I am currently at Shirley Wu Beauty Concept Salon in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, where they've done my makeup, they've done some waves in my hair, because today I'll be joined by my favorite hairstylist in the city, Jenny Wu, Hello. and she'll be showcasing three braids in my hair for the upcoming summer and spring season nice. uh, for, you know, outdoor patio dinners, lunches, where the weather is nice and you need something uh, chic and boho and like effortless and easy your go-to hairstyle so join us in the chair where she's gonna be doing my hair let's go so this first look is my go-to hairstyle when I have a day at work uh, followed by maybe a dinner in the evening meeting up with some friends so it's an easy way to have your hair out of your face I mean my hair is already pre-curled she's done a lot of teasing so you need that volume so Jenny do you want to go ahead and get started so the first step is actually to part your hair where she's kind of given me a side part as you saw earlier. Um, she's going to be adding some volume in my hair even though I have my extensions from Axia hair in. I mean all this hair clearly isn't mine but um, so volume is very essential with this look. So she is teasing it and back combing at my crown and my bangs. And the next thing she's going to be doing is actually just putting my hair into three sections like you would do in a typical braid so that she can carry the braid on to the side. As you move forward, it's essential to pick up every piece of hair that comes in the way so that you could blend it into the braid. So you basically go all the way across with the braid until you reach the other side of your head, completing the braid. So basically you kind of achieve a braid band that kind of goes across your head with your own hair. You would need a bobby pin to pin it into place. Try to aim to make it a little bit messy because we don't want that perfect look. We want to kind of keep it voluminous, want to keep it effortless, right? So achieving a messy look is probably going to do you best. So the final look is very girl next door, very chic. Uh, something that's going to be out of your face the entire day. And like I said, if you're going out to dinner in the evening, it's going to stay in place. So an excellent look on a day where you're transitioning from day to evening. Okay, so again, we're starting off with three sections, as you would do with any braid. Uh, my hair is parted to the side and still back combed, uh, relatively big because, I mean, we need volume again, but we want it with this because it is a semi-formal look, we do want to achieve a very sleek, beautiful uh, end product. Keep in mind, I do have extensions in my hair. So as you take your braid to the side, you wanna do your best to be able to avoid displaying any of the clips that come with the extensions. So there's actually several things that you can do with the braid. You can take it to the side and just pin it right here and then leave the rest of your hair curly, wavy, however you decide. Or you can take the braid all the way down. So what we've done here is we've actually made the braid a fishtail, um, keeping it very, you know, dimensional and complicated, yet it's very simple as you're just taking the hair from underneath and just moving it down. Um, it keeps the look very, you know, formal yet elegant. Okay, so the final look is this. It's very 1930s inspired with the waved out bangs, very Gatsby, and I love that, um, along with the fishtail. And then we're going to move on to show you what else you can do with this potential hairstyle. So the first step with this look is actually to texturize your hair. I mean, it's a little bit high right now. We do have product in it, but what Jenny's going to be doing is just that combing, adding some texture with her fingers as she's pulling the hair back to start the braid from the crown of my head. So what Jenny's going to be doing is actually splitting my hair into two sections. That's what you do with when you're starting a French fishtail. And then she's going to be pulling hair from each side of my head to continue on. Again, because this is an inspired French fishtail, it is very similar to the French braid that we do commonly. So because I don't like clean hair, I like the whole messy look. What Jenny is doing is keeping it a little loose so that it does look 
like we said earlier on, very effortless and very easy, yet it still is able to create that very statement type braid because it is a fishtail. So the benefit of actually having hair extensions in with a fishtail braid or any braid in particular is that you are able to achieve a more thick and more lush end product with it. I mean, regularly without the extensions in, I would have had a very thin and very powerless braid. But with this, it's definitely achieving more of a statement look where, you know, it looks more prevalent and out there. So in this scene, you can truly capture the actual magic of extensions. So I am very anal with what I put in my hair or my skin. So the product I'm actually using for my hair right now is Axia Hair, color number four. It is a medium brown because I do have pre-colored hair and it blended in so perfectly as you can see. You can't really tell what my actual hair is or what the extension, where the extensions are. So with this you can see that it's definitely not a stiff tight braid. It is very loose, it is very like out there, very prevalent and you can totally see how beautiful it looks from the back. Thank you so much for watching my first hair tutorial and I want to give a huge shout out to Jenny Wu from Shirley Wu Beauty Concept here in Mississauga, Ontario for doing all of these fabulous looks in my hair. I also got to give a huge shout out to Axia Hair who has given me these beautiful lush extensions. And uh, to get your hands on these amazing pieces, log on to www.axiahair.com uh, and make sure to use my promotion code SHK for an additional 20% off. Toodles!